Good evening. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2013, and you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today we are here outside of Lex Hennessy and Sian Sienna Montevaria's house waiting for Sienna to have her baby. Do I sound a bit irritated? That's because I've been waiting. <laughs> I've already played for 30 minutes and she still hasn't had her baby. So I'll let you know what has gone on. The party was the, uh, the baby shower is what I'm trying to say, was a great success. Um, as you saw in the last episode. And the ladies actually stayed till late that night. Um, Lex came home. He hung out with them. Lex loves the ladies. And uh, he is now sitting here waiting to order some groceries because I want to introduce you to Willow Storkway, who is Akinthop's new midwife. She is given to me by a viewer. Thank you very much for Willow. And she... Is, look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, just check out the cuteness. <gasps> so cute. I love her necklace. Oh, that's so... Oops. <laughs> Went right through her body. That is a cute necklace. Anyway, um... So, I'm admiring it, but I'm the one who put it on her when we were when we were uh, making her in a live simming session. But uh, I had forgotten that what a nice little uh, necklace it is. And it fits her. She's kind of flower girl um, type of uh, person natural that kind of thing probably a vegetarian i suppose if i were to bother to make her one but anyway she is here she has been moved in temporarily and what i did was i basically just used the inseminator using the spawn here and summon her and i summoned her to the lot and then I have, con using Control the Sim, have made her selectable for the time of, that she's here. Uh, she has just gone around and put some food, made some food here. And then I'm going to have her... Let's see. Nope, what I'm looking for is... Oh, put away leftovers. That's what I'm looking for. Are we going to get some... Ah, every time Sienna moves, I'm like, are we going to get somewhere? Mm. So I'm thinking that if we don't, if Sienna doesn't have her baby by the end of this day, uh, then I'm going to induce labor. I don't care. I'm just going to go into sim goddess mode and induce that baby. <laughs> every time she goes to the bathroom, I think, she's going to have it now. She's going to have it now because sims always... <laughs> See? Right now. Because <laughs> Sims always have their babies in the bathroom. Um, so, yeah. I want. I, I was trying to have her have Willow click on the fridge here because somewhere I vaguely remember in my years of playing that you could put away all leftovers. But I guess you can't. It may be because this is a specialized meal. Uh, in other words, a downloaded meal and not a Maxis meal. That's my best guess for why I can't do that. So Willow's job is to cook, to clean, to make a lot of food for the um, family to use after the baby. She's there to attend the birth, uh, which in Sims World means standing there and, and looking up to the heavens. <laughs> um, and she will get paid using the wonderful uh, wallet controller that I have been showing you guys about. If I ever mention a mod that I have mentioned in a past Let's Play, uh, and you want to know a little bit more about that mod, uh, feel free to let me know in comments, and I will let you know about that. So her energy is tank, so she's going to head up to bed again. Yes! Finally! Ha ha ha! We have liftoff, or drop down, as it were. <laughs> okay, so... um. Sienna is getting ready to pop. Uh, Lex has gone where? Where'd you go? Now's not the time. Where'd you go? Where are you? Oh, sitting on the bench. Dude. Hey, um, Lex. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. Get up. <laughs> we have lift off. I'm hoping she has twins. Okay. Let her rip. Good job, Willow. Oh, 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 oh. 
robots have left and can play the team. Please help. Say Pokemon that but Malap. Yay! There's a new family member on the way. Woohoo! Oh ma! Oh ma stavo! Oh, oh ma stavo! Oh What in the Oh, 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 it has a baby outfit on. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> oh, look at him! Oh, look at the little guy! So who's staying home to care for the new children? Sienna is. And we have a baby boy! Yay! Now, interestingly, <laughs> I have given absolutely no thought to the name of this baby. So I'm going to pause recording and head on over to a baby name site and see what I can find. Um, one of the things about uh, when you have a, hit, a hood that's been going on for a number of generations, you can start to use names like name the baby after its grandfather, but we don't have that right now. So I'll be right back with a name. I just Googled baby name that means wait or waited for. <laughs> and the name that I found was wonderful, Kayin, or Kayin, Kayin, um, and supposedly it is a name that is um, Yoruba uh, from the uh, or Nigerian. So according to what I just learned on Google, which you know how much you can count on that. But um, anyway, <laughs> waiting for Kayin um, because I felt it took so long for <laughs> this baby to come. <laughs> that I felt that it was an appropriate name. So, Cain it is. And, uh... I think they'll just call him Kay. And, yay! Let's get a good look at the little mite. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> look! Isn't he cute? My! He's gonna be a looker. That's wonderful. And it doesn't look like we're going to get twins out of this. I think Woo! we're... Lada! Sienna's like, oh god, my back. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, he's so cute. Absolutely adore him. Kayan Montavaria. I keep wanting to call him Kayan, so I'm going to call him that. Kayan. Kayan, maybe. How do you guys think that should be pronounced? K A Y I N. Kayan. Kayan. Kayan sounds right to me. Okay, so um, now that the baby is taken care of, I'm going to have her. Hand the baby to. Oh, Lex, quit being a little. Oh, she hands him on autonomously to his dad. Oh, gosh, these Sims, I'll tell you, they're so cute. I do have a breastfeeding mod in. I believe. <laughs> but I think the best thing to do... Sienna's pretty tired, so I'm going to have her go to sleep. <laughs> Now's not the time to pay red hands, you silly sims. <laughs> Sienna, go to bed. I'm going to save my game. As this handy save game reminder has come up, it's a mod from Monique, one of my favorite modders. Somebody asked me a question in live simming this weekend. Uh, they asked me who, who, you know, who my favorite content creator was, which was just impossible to answer. I think it would be a plastic box if, I, if you had to twist my arm, just because that's the, the one content creator that's produced so much useful content for me that I couldn't have made Akinthop without Plastic Box Homes. I mean, Ak Akinthop is 93% Plastic Box, you know, so. Um. Oh. Okay, Daddy. Time to feed the baby. I love the babies. 
feed a bottle. And Willow, I'm going to just have you keep right on doing what you need to be doing, working and all of that. It's clean. And then I'm also going to have you order some more food because I thought I had Lex do that, but I guess I didn't. So we're completely out of food, so let's fill that up. Gonna need as much food as we can get in this house to feed the babies. Because I'm already thinking about getting Sienna pregnant again. <laughs> and that should send a delivery person over. Eventually, uh, I will be able to send Sims out to the grocery store and the cafe, but unfortunately we don't have one in Ekinthop yet. And for you, I would like you to um, I'm going to have you clean up that bottle, basically. Willow has a lot of people that she wants to be friends with, and that's one of the reasons. And they're all members. Ah, perfect. Hey, Willow, get the door. Get back here, delivery woman. Thank you very much. Excellent service. I wonder if she can offer her a tip. Probably not. Oh, you can. Cool. Tip. Hopefully she'll hang around for the tip. Let's see. Nope, it looks like she's going to get in her van and drive off. Okay. Alright, so now we have some groceries, so I'm going to have Willow continue to make food, group meals, plenty of pineapple surprise, no doggy treats needed. <laughs> uh, chicken and sausage gumbo, Italian lasagna, ooh, spinach chicken tandoori. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see I also have not only dog treats, but kitty treats as well, too. Okay. Baby's taken care of. It's time for somebody to learn some parenting. That's another thing I mean to have Willow learn, obviously, is parenting. Poor Sienna's out cold. Oh, look at the little boo. By the way, you may have noticed that I have fixed my problem with cribs. It was a problem with my video card, a setting that I had on my video card. So the cribs and the barbecues that you remember that were showing up a, a sort of... Uh, I love looking at the baby and her and his crib. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. People ask me why I don't play The Sims 3, and this is another reason. Because I, I really dislike that the, the babies have no bodies. Um, I find that very hard to deal with. <laughs> and I really appreciate that they have bodies. And in fact, there are mods now, which I have not gone into the world of exploring those uh, just yet. Uh, but there are mods that uh, allow you to... Uh, change the clothes of babies like right now I have, obviously I have a mod in which allows me to make the baby be in something besides a diaper um, but uh, there's a mod which allows you to, to make it so that different babies can be dressed in different ways whereas right now it's just basically a 
whatever my, what you know you only one default in at a time basically so Lex's energy is pretty high he it's like I don't know he must not be very get very tired very quickly um, what did you have up I'm wondering if tinkering is his one true hobby but I don't think so I rarely use the tinker feature. I don't know why. Oh, look at the little baby. Okay, so Willow's working her butt off. So I'm going to have Lex do something that helps towards his career or towards his... Um, his whatever it is he may be interested in doing. He wants to hustle pool. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, there's no place yet in Akinthop with a pool. And he wants to buy a television. What is he? Pleasure aspiration. Buy a TV. Buy a bubble blower. Buy electronic equipment. Hmm. You don't really have a living room in here. Let's get you a little living room space. If you want a television, you can have one. No problem. So since they, ha they, you know, they have a living room upstairs and a kitchen downstairs, it's a little bit of an unusual arrangement, but it'll work. I'm just going to get him a little love seat, something that will match with the walls here. Really need some recolors of this Ek Torp uh, sofa. I'm looking for a two-seater sofa that is pretty comfortable. hard because, uh, you know, they have slightly different styles in my imagination. I want something with some purple in it, but not all purple. That's what I'm looking for. I've come to the conclusion that I'm an extremely slow <laughs> decorator. <laughs> Partly because I'm just always looking for just the right thing, and I have so many things to look through to find just the right thing. Um, interesting. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. I think I have two defaults fighting with each other there. That's not supposed to look like that. I go for this sofa all the time. I use it all the time. Because <laughs> it has just the right colors that I'm looking for. And it has so many different colors to choose from. So yeah, I use it quite a lot. This sofa is uh, the Phoenix Love Seat by Holy Smoly. That's not right, the right color that I'm looking for. But, uh, yeah, the, the, it's the Holy Smoly stuff is consistently excellent, excellent stuff. Um, I can always hear you guys in my head going, pick something with color. <laughs> come on, come on, Jessa. <laughs> I'm trying to find something that matches well with these walls. These walls are hard to match with. Um.
probably help if I... Oh, that's pretty cool. Interesting. Not something I would have picked, but I think... Either it works or I'm colorblind. What do you know? What do you think? Let me know in comments. <laughs> Is this a terrible color to pick for that? With that couch, or does it work? I think it just barely works. <laughs> I highly recommend going to Holy Smoly and grabbing basically every single thing that they have because they are just that that excellent. Oh, that works. Perfect. Okay, um... And Lex asked for a... For a, uh... Excuse me here. For a... Ah, bah, bah, a television. Which looks like I'm gonna have to do a floor television to fit with this nice window that's here. But I'm just so glad Sienna had her baby. I was like, waiting and waiting and waiting! <laughs> oh, that's a bit small. They don't have much money for some of these big televisions. I don't know. I think Lex is definitely the type of guy who would blow all of their dough on a television, though, so... Isn't that neat? A whole television with a, a living room, to, with a cube to go with it to sit on. But it's, a li it's blocking the... Um, I'm looking for a flat-screen television. Something that's... Um, this is probably a good one here. Yeah, that's good. So it doesn't really block the, the view. I mean, the uh, stairs coming up. Okay. Lex, your wish is my command. Don't ask me to buy any more crap. <laughs> and here, you can watch some television. There you go. <laughs> Quit tinkering at that bathtub. I do admit I have to like giving them their wants. And, um, you know, it's hard to get to fail in The Sims. You know, it's hard to give them not, you know, to... Like, if you just concentrate on, on, tr on meeting a Sim's fears... She's dreaming about Little Willie. Who, by the way, during the weekend, during the... Uh, live simming session, we tried very hard to get Little Willie and the pirate together, but <laughs> the pirate was not having, uh, you know, Captain Tiberius was not having anything of it. Um, and I'm going to have Willow. Uh, she's made a good number of meals here. So I'm going to uh, have her stop making those meals in just a moment after she's done with this one. We will end the episode here. And cancel. There we go. So, Willow, I think it's time for you to clean up your mess. And then, thank you. She does it automatically. Excellent. I'll have her stay one more day for the baby. And then I'll, I'll send her uh, back home. And I'm going to have her macro clean and then macro garden to take care of things. Kind of allowing Santa to rest up. Excellent. Perfect job. Although, uh, I'm going to move this trash can. I noticed this trash can here, which is a kind of odd place. No. I just don't think they need two trash cans. There's one just sort of blocking the area there. There, we go. So let me know in comments what you think of the name that I chose for Sienna's baby. Um, if you like the idea of Willow's uh, midwifery, midwifery skills, um, And whether you think I should get Sina directly started on another baby. <laughs> because we need some babies here in Akanthop. This is our first naturally born baby in Akanthop. 
and let's end the episode with taking a look at little Kayan. I'm sorry, did I say that right? Kayan, yep. We'll just call him K for short. And there's K. Looking, oh my gosh, so adorable. The problem with it is that you want to go over and hug him, but if you do, you wake him up. <laughs> Might as well let him sleep. He just had a rough journey into the world. And also, we have zero babies so far born in the bathroom in Akinthop. <laughs> so, I'm going to pause here. And I always like to end with the house up like this because, I don't know, it's like when you were a girl playing with your doll houses. Or when you were a child, I should say, because guys play with doll houses. I guess some of them did. And um, I just like to see the, you know, Sienna seeping in the window and know that everybody in the household is taken care of and happy and content. And as am I. And I hope as are you. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me because it really does encourage me. And if you loved what you saw, join the party and subscribe. And I'll see you in Akinthop in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads.